All right. All right, Mr. Price. All right, Mr. Masters, uh, it's been a while, so I'm not sure where we left off. But let, let me let me just ask a few questions of you, and and then I'm going to sit down, sir. Um, the uh, From what I understand from the evidence, you were you approached this white vehicle and threw a punch and a scuffle began. You heard the sound of police. Am I correct? No, I, mean, uh, I, I guess I just wanted to clarify one thing. You, you had said before that I was aggressive towards him. They had opened the door and they had stepped out before I made my step forward towards him. When you say they had stepped out, are you saying now, now are, you, are you now telling? I was talking about the, the police officers. Are you telling the jury that when you say they, are you referring to both of these police officers are now stepping out at the same time? So no, no, no. Uh, Joel Casey was the only person who stepped out initially, and so that's that's the gentleman I'm talking about. Okay. Did he step out and became fully erect out of no, the car? No. Okay. So again, if I understand your testimony, it is correct that he was not able to get completely out of the car uh, before you began approaching the vehicle. Let's just start with approaching the vehicle. Is that correct? Can you repeat the question? Okay. Your Honor, can we approach? What? I think we did all this. You know, who knows? I, I yeah. forgot what it was. Okay. Well, well no, no, no. It's up to us. Okay. Do you understand my question, sir? Um, could you just uh, say it okay. again? I was really just trying to refresh myself as to where we were. Okay. But my understanding is that Detective Cassie had not completely gotten out of the vehicle before you approached the vehicle and began throwing a punch. Is that correct? He had opened the door and he stepped out, and then I proceeded to go forward. Okay. Now, you, you just offered some type of demonstration. Yeah. Was he, yep. was he, did he have both feet, feet out of the vehicle? He just had his left leg out. He okay. just stepped one leg out. And that's when you threw your first punch. Is that correct, sir? Yes, yes. Okay. And even though you had heard the shouting of police, uh, in your mind, you were still not convinced that you were dealing with the police. Is that correct? Um, well, when I mean, you've been saying that they've been saying police the whole the whole time. Uh, is that are you saying they said the police in the beginning? I'm asking you, sir, that when initially, let me just back up. Earlier, your testimony was that you heard them say police. Okay, right. Okay, but simply because they said police, that was not enough for you to retreat. Is that correct? Right. Okay. And point, Mr. Masters, these detectives, either one or both of them, attempted to handcuff you. Is that correct? Yeah, eventually. Okay. Were you convinced at that time that they were the police? Yes. Okay. And is it your testimony now that you did not resist their attempts to handcuff you, sir? Not at all. Okay. Had you, 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 you talked about being struck by uh, one of these police officers. You talked about being struck by Detective Cassie. Uh, were you handcuffed when you were uh, in, uh, 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 struck no. by Detective Cassie? No, I was not. Okay. Um,
Is it your testimony, Mr. Masters, that you felt threatened even though Detective Cassie had never exited the vehicle, sir? Yes. Okay. And uh, did you, at that moment, did you notice whether the, v, whether the window of the vehicle was up or down? Because you can't recall whether the windows were tinted or not when uh, are tinted. Is that correct? It was dark and rainy at the time. Windows are tinted or not tinted? I have, Do no, you recall I have no that, idea. Sir? I have no idea. You don't know? No, I okay. cannot recall. Um, <clears throat> so you, you, it's not, so <clears throat> you're not prepared to tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury here today that you saw these individuals, you saw Detective Cass in, in particular, prior to exiting the vehicle with any objects of any uh, in, in his hand, using it in any threatening matter towards you. Is that correct? No, I didn't see anything in his hand. And even though you had left your residence, Mr. Masters, just a short time uh, prior to encountering this white vehicle, uh, and had somewhat, somewhat of a disagreement with your girlfriend. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, you, 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 you were not angry. Is that your testimony here today? I was not angry over that situation. But you were angry that this strange vehicle almost clipped your leg. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and that anger and that feeling caused you to respond in the manner that you did. Is that correct? I believe that it had an effect. What type of effect did it have, Mr. Masters? Well, we all have to make choices with a different range of emotions. And so I, I had felt like they weren't officers to me. They were, they were just thugs who were wanting to jump me. And so when they had actually acknowledged that they're officers, that's when I had surrendered. So I feel like it's an important distinction. Um, when they were thugs, I felt an imminent physical danger that something was going to happen to me. They tried to run me over, they were cussing at me, then they swerved around and they jumped right out in front of me. Um, so I feel like it's important to, uh, you know, I was sad about the, the incident, but I had two choices when uh, he was going to, you know, he's doing all this and then basically I had reserved that when whoever opens this door, I had two choices I was going to run away or I was going to stand up for myself. And so I feel like you know, if you want to point out the anger, the sadness, instead of running away from the situation, I stood up. Let me just I, felt, I felt like all the, everything I was thinking though was just, uh, you know, I'd already walked away from my house and uh, any, any feelings I was feeling was based on that three minute uh, encounter. And, and, and that's what I wanted to talk to you about, Mr. Masters, this time frame. Mm -hmm. Because it, it, from your testimony, it sounds as if you're referring to these detectives as thugs and then as police officers. Correct. So even though they had announced police, in your mind they were still thugs until such time as you were convinced and acknowledged to yourself that, oh, these must be police now because uh, notwithstanding the fact that they shouted that they were police now because I see a badge or I see a uh, or or I see a uh, uh, a holster or a radio or something on the side of this one short detective that I attacked when they told me that they're the police that's when I surrendered myself they uh, didn't say anything before Aaron Browning had come around um, to, to the vehicle so that's the difference between when they went from thugs to police officers was when they announced that they were police. May I approach the witness, Sean? Mm -hmm. Let me have, show you. Have you shown that to uh, Ms. Commonwealth Exhibit Number Six? Okay. Let me show you Commonwealth Exhibit Number Six. Do you rem do you know who that is in that photograph, sir? That's Aaron Browning. Okay, and you saw Aaron Browning that uh, uh, not uh, uh, that evening, didn't you, sir? Correct. Okay. And, uh, and in fact, Aaron Brownie accompanied you to the hospital and stayed with you for about four hours. Is that correct? Yeah, that's okay. correct. Okay. Um, 
Is it your testimony here today that that was not the way Aaron Browning looked on that particular night in terms of, you know, specifically where his badge is located? Uh, I don't recall how he had looked. I was focused on Joel Casey, and so when Aaron Browning had came out, he came around so quick, and he was already throwing punches that I didn't, you know, I'm looking at this picture right now, and it's a badge, you know, because I'm clearly looking at it, but it could just be an emblem on a shirt, too. So uh, that was not enough of an indication to tell me that they were the police. That was not enough of an indication. I was being attacked by, you know, Casey right. at the time. That at, well. That at the time, that in addition to the shouting of police, police was not enough for you. To they never convinced. shouted police, police. They only shouted police one time. And then once uh, they shouted police one time, that's when I raised my hand and I said, you know, stop, stop, stop. What, what is this about? I thought your earlier testimony was, sir, and I, and I apologize if I misunderstood it, was that you retreated once they had you subdued. Is that not correct? What do you mean? Are you saying that you were upright and erect when you were when, when yes, initially yes, treated? Yes, yes, yes. Can I just have a second? Okay, Your Honor, I think that's all the questions I have with this witness now. All right. Mr. Uh, Stegmaier. Thank you, Your Honor. John, you talked a lot on cross-examination about, um, you know, whether you knew they were police or, or when you knew they were police. Or, and I think one of the things you said is when they yelled police, you weren't convinced and you, you were looking for something else. Can you tell the members of the jury what types of things are you looking for at that point in time? I feel like he's just trying to mischaracterize that, you know, I don't like police. But I feel like when the thug, you know, when they were thugs and they kind of spun around, I was terrified and I didn't know who they were. And so when they told me that they were police, you know, they had cussed at me. They had almost hit me with their car. They, they're in the mid middle of a busy intersection. Um, they, they get out in the middle of a busy, busy, busy intersection and jump, you know, out towards me. So... Um, what types of things would you look for? So, so what I was looking for specifically, just anything else. I mean, just someone saying that you're police after all these other things. I was, you know, I was, I had to assess the situation. Sure. I mean, is this, is this how police officers act? And I, I don't really think so. Um, but I, I looked at their face and they seemed genuine uh, when they told me about it. And I saw a badge underneath uh, Mr. Casey's uh, flannel jacket and that's I saw so half is, half a badge. Was this already while you were engaged? Yes. With, 